Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stat Pro V8i full course series. In this tutorial, we learn response spectrum analysis as per Indian Earthquake Code 1893 2002 Part 1. Before we start this analysis, first we require a complete model with static loads and properties. So first of all we create a model, go to the new project space, the title of the file name is RSA response spectrum analysis. We choose unit is meter and kilonewton. Next finish. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Stat Pro Basic to Advanced Full Course Tutorial Series. Let's start. We assume a plan, a simple building plan. This 5 by 5 meter, 4 span, 4 rooms. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 10 floor building so for this plan first we create a joint and close the grid and select this joint by the joint cursor and activate the translate repeat tool and select in x direction and the number of step is 2 and spacing is 5 meter according to the our plan and tick on link steps two step five meter link ok press escape button for normal cursor and control a by control a select the all beams and again go to the translate repeat tool now the direction we choose z direction two step link and ok this is the plan now what we do by control a we select the plan and go to the translate repeat tool and select y direction and the number of step 10 because of the 10 floor building and the each floor height is 3 meter link ok delete the base beams next step is provide supports we know that the building has fixed support we create a fixed support click on fix support and go to the front view and by drag mouse cursor we select the all joints and assign this joint fixed support next step is property go to the property then right side define we assume for rectangle size is 600 by 400 mm of for beam and for column is a rectangle column sorry square column 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 the first property for beam for beam we, uh, for this property assigned to beam we have to select all beams we know that beams are parallel to x and z so what we do go to the select tool beam parallel to x then again go to the select parallel to z and assign this property to beam if you check in the render view the beams property is assigned now select the column property we know that column is parallel to y so what we do go to the select menu parallel to y select and assign this property now check the render view the property step is done next step is load and definition in this tutorial we learn how to analyze how to uh, analyze a building by response spectrum method so we assume all data we only learn the steps so load we go to the load case detail add dead load and live load add and close in dead load we assume sulfate and floor load slab load we assume 4 kilonewton per meter square 
0 to 30 meter because we have 10 floor each floor 3 meter equal to 30 meter add and close cell fit assign to view and floor load we don't require to assign is automatically assigned you can see here in live load we assume a floor finishing and live load on the floors minus 3.50 to 30 meter add close the load is defined now check the structure by analysis 0 error 0 warning done this is the static analysis now the start response spectrum method why we do this this is also known as dynamic method in this method we calculate the lateral horizontal force of each floor in this method we calculate the horizontal force of each floor as well as mode shape of the building mode safe means mode safe means sorry mode safe means how to building vibrate mode safe means or other definition is mode safe is defined as the possible behavior of structure it may undergo during earthquake and other definition mode safe describe the configuration into which a structure will naturally displace in very simple way in my way I tell you what is the mode safe mode safe is the pattern of vibration of a building okay we know that when earthquake come the ground the ground is accelerate the building is vibrate the possibility of building pattern of the vibration is the mode shape okay in my language and other definition mode shape define the possible behavior of structure under during earthquake okay so what we calculate horizontal force mode shape as well as time period we all already know what is the time period means time period means what is the time taken by a structure to complete one oxalate okay this is the time period so we calculate this mode shape and time period in dynamic method let's start go to the load and definition and then go to the definition in seismic definition add and select the code earthquake code indian is 1893-2002 and click on generate okay first of all he asked the zone of the building of the area where you want to design building i assume this zone is 4 special rc movement resisting frame is 5 and this is general building we also assume this data remember this data and the soil is hard frame is RC damping ratio in the last video where we uh, talking about equivalent method or static method of the earthquake and in, in that video we explain this all terms if you don't uh, understand this term by my video so what you do you go to the code IS 1893-2002 and his the first four three pages have the definition of each term okay now damping ratio we already told in the last video damping ratio is the property of a of a material that how percentage of the energy absorbed by the material okay or damping ratio is the property of material that reduce the oxidation five percent means the concrete is more energy consumed than steel steel has around two percent if you a uh, steel if you have a steel scale or steel rod and you uh, strike something on this rod the rod is vibrating 
if this rod is made by concrete this rod is vibrating less than the steel it means it absorb the energy that is the meaning of damping ratio next what is the foundation depth it is not necessary to provide this data here if you want the depth is around 2 meter i provide the foundation depth in what is the period time period of the building time period of the building how we calculate time period of building the time period of the building the formula is according to is 1893 2002 for infill wall 9 h under root d d is the width then which direction you want to time period and h is the height of the building okay so if we calculate this by calculator the width is 0.09 into width is, height is 30 meter and divide by width is 10 meter width is 10 meter divide by root 10 we again okay first of all what the value of root 10 3.16 okay 0 0.09 multiply by 30 and divided by 3.6 0 0.75 around 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay generate add close okay if you want to okay let's uh, later we discuss this now what we do we create a load seismic and the title we put r s x response spectrum in x direction because building is symmetric building is symmetric okay if this is x direction this is z direction the result is same in x and z so we only we only consider RSX not RSZ if building is not symmetric then we consider both in RSX add response spectrum load in response spectrum load first he asked the IS code IS code we know that uh, for Indian 1893 after that we he asked the method there are many method of analysis the best method is CQC cubic quadrate combination we select this method then the soil is hard in the previous uh, we generate mm, that time we choose the hard soil now next is these three direction this is the horizontal coefficient acceleration horizontal coefficient we analyze the structure in x direction so we select the x the value is calculated by a formula the horizontal coefficient is a denoted by a h and the formula is z by 2 i by r and s a by g z is for john for 0 0.24 i is important factor of building is one week to choose r is reduce reduction factor 5 and SA by G depend upon the time period and the type of soil. If you check in this graph, time period we know that to 0 0.75 around approximate this and the value of SAG is this. Okay, this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.75 if we draw this straight line and the soil is hard type first this is the type first and if we draw this line around 1.4 approximately 1.4 value of SAGB this graph in the IS score 1893 so we now we calculate AH AH is Z by 2 into I by R into SA by G ok Z is 0 0.24 by 2 multiply by I is 1 and R is 5 and 1.4 the value is 0 
जीरो टू फोर इंटू वन पॉइंट फोर कैलकुलेटर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फोर इंटू वन पॉइंट फोर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री सिक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सलेशन कॉफिशेंट एंड वी चूज स्केल इज वन एड एंड क्लोज द लास्ट स्टेप वट वी डू वी डू we copy all the loads or static load below the this definition this spectrum parameters and re remove the uh, remove the sign means negative and negative sign and change the direction in x because this is and this is in x direction we take all float in the x direction so where we change this go to the editor an editor this is the these are the dead load we copy this load below the response spectrum definition so load and this is the live load we also copy this and in this we change this my x y change to x space 1 and in this we remove minus and g x g y to g x because we analyze in x direction remove y and x done save and finish check the error okay error is that we we have two method static and um, dynamic in static what we do in static if we analyze this one error what we do in statics we have applied we have Uh, uh consider the lambda mass theory means all forces convert into mass the building have forces because all forces have direction mass have no direction we convert all force into mass what we do we copy all load below the zone seismic zone and remove the direction as well as negative sign so what we do we copy dead load where is the dead load this is the dead load copy below the john and where is the live load this is the live load copy live load below the john what we do again we explain this is the definition of seismic this is the definition we copy the dead load here and live load here and remove the negative sign and direction this direction and change floor load to floor weight okay these changes we have to require for lambda mass theory we remove y and minus we remove minus and gy we remove minus and gy and floor load to change floor weight also here according to is code if live load is less than 3 or equal to 3 we change we consider the live 50 25% of the live load in lambda mass for now time we not assume okay finish again error okay self weight floor weight y range and this okay now what we do okay ek once more you check the okay then now the next step you make uh, you create a load case for lateral force for dynamic we already um, create a load case rsx for lateral force we create eqx earthquake force in x direction and what we do according to the stat for analysis method we move this load case at the top then we change dead load to 2 and live load 3 and rs4 and this is 1 so what we do go to the editor and this eqx cut control by control x and copy above the load case 1 and change the serial number 1 2 3 4 okay done save close then this eqx click on this and add seismic load in x direction in x and factor 1 add and close this is the complete now we have to analyze this structure done okay what 
before we start tutorial we explain what is the response spectrum analysis okay what is the mode say what is the time period now we calculate in this method by in this method three things lateral force mode shape and time period okay one by one we check and go to the out view and select and search lateral this is the lateral force Okay, 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 well, wait some time. Find lateral force. Okay, the lateral force. At first floor, first floor, the load is one point. This is the building, 10 floor building. At first floor, load value is 1.0. 8.4 this is the first floor 0 to 3 level the second floor load is this third floor load is this this is the lateral force and uh, below the lateral force one value is constant 407 407 407 is the base shear opposite direction okay this is the lateral force now we check the mode shape these are the six modes shape have time different time period and the frequency and time period and the accuracy these are the modes if you want to vibration of each mode you close this output and go to the this animate ok and select here mode shape and ok then. select mode and then. go to the post processing cannot animate why go to the post processing cannot create animation of mode save mode number not specify or result or for available what we do we analyze one more time i don't know what is the problem okay mode save is off if we go to the modeling command and analysis post analysis cz clear command miscellaneous cut off more safe and select 6 then again analysis done okay mod These are the modes say, but why not uh, showing in the animation? Check this is seismic load. if we go to editor and seismic definition we remove the this time period and all the things and then an analyze then go to the post processing against the data is not available okay what we do we delete this and again we analyze okay. I don't know why this option is off animation of okay okay we select response spectrum load then the animation option is on mode shape and okay okay this is the mode shape one is not that key building is uh, vibrate like this because of the scale is more and then the his visible the vibration is vibration very less this is the mod 2 pattern of vibration 
इफ़ यू गो टू दी स्केल ऑप्शन एंड इन द स्केल ऑप्शन यू मोट से चेंज स्केल वन मीन्स एक्चुअल नाउ एनालाइज और चेक द मोट शेप दिस इज द एक्चुअल वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग एंड एट डिफरेंट मोड्स सो दिस इज द रिस्पॉन्स स्पेक्ट्रम एनालिसिस अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडियन अर्थक्वेक कोड वन एट नाइन थ्री टू थाउजेंड टू पार्ट वन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज शेयर कमेंट एंड लाइक एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर वीडियोज फ्यूचर टूटो सीरीज दैट्स नोटिफिकेशन यू गेट लाइक फ्यूचर टूटो सीरीज टूटोरियल सीरीज लाइक दैट ई टैप्स रिविड आर्किटेक्चर प्राइम वीरा एंड अदर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर so thank you please subscribe like and also you can visit my website www.engineersforcivil.com for more knowledge and data thank you